guys. The theme for this month is Make Waves and we're going to see if this bag really made a splash. So let's get into it and I will share with you what I got in my bag. I'm so excited. This month they gave you a really adorable lemon colored bag. Great for summer. Very summer vibes I must say. I like the different ladies on the front sunbathing and just getting their natural glow on. I really enjoy this bag. It's very cute. I'm definitely going to keep it for summer. I like the little tassel right here. Love the little touch of color. And I just adore this bag. It's so cute. Great for summer. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but we'll see. I have another yellow bag, so maybe I'll put it inside of that. So we'll see. You get your usual card and it tells you a little bit of some summer tips on how to use sunscreen and to prevent yourself from getting heat exhausted, I believe. So a few little tips and tricks in the card. It doesn't tell you what you get in the bag this time, just like the other bag. For some reason, they're not telling you what you get in the bag. It's just a card with like simple tips and tricks now. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of that. Maybe they should have two cards, maybe. One with like the description of the products and original prices and then a little tips, tricks, and packs card to go along with it. So that would be a cute idea. There's plenty of room for another card in the bag. So that's kind of like an idea that I would like to see implemented with Ipsy. I'm going to go through everything with you today and you didn't really get a lot of products this month. I don't know what happened, but there is some hits and misses in the bag. I already tried and tested a lot of the products out and it's, it, it's something, so we'll get into it. The first product I enjoyed was the Malin Plus Gotez Grapefruit Face Cleanser. I've been using this. It actually cleans your face. It gives you a nice boost of hydration and it does the trick it kind of smells like plastic though that's one thing i don't really care for is the plastic smell it's just kind of like eh, it kind of ruins it i thought it would smell like grapefruit but it doesn't smell anything like grapefruit but it's good at cleaning your face and getting off all the icky grime of the day so it's great for that it does work it has a nice smooth creamy lather kind of like a gel lather so I really like that a lot. It doesn't break out my face. I will try to link everything down below that I consider actually good and worthwhile on getting. I'm not going to recommend to you any kind of garbage junk products. That's not what I'm about. The next product we're going to go through is the Sugar Cosmetics Matte as Hell Crayon Lipstick in the shade, I believe, Scarlet O'Hara. And nice color. It's red, I like red. I'm wearing it right now. Not a fan of this. I'm not even a fan of the sugar eyeliner that they gave me a while back in a previous video. That one was dry as heck. Like, it did not do anything. It like bothered my eyes. I don't even think it went on my eyes. Like, it was just so terrible that I just had to throw it away because it was already dried out. I sh kept shaking it and junk. Well, this is kind of junk too. It doesn't dry down as a matte formula. See? Still stains your finger. So, you want to eat, you want to kiss someone, not happening. You're going to be telling on yourself for like, I don't know how long. So, I'm going to swatch the color for you. And it's already smeary and creamy. I like that it's a cream, but it doesn't dry down as a matte whatsoever. Matte, yeah right, not matte at all, and it's smeary, it's just patchy. I feel like there's a lot of patchiness to my lips. I don't know, it's just, it's not great. I don't even like crayon lipsticks to begin with, like, what's even the point of them? They're great for Halloween, if even. Like, even for Halloween costumes, I think that it's just a waste of money. This is kind of like a waste of money. I don't even recommend this one. The next product I do love is the Oseline Soothing Cream. This gets the job done, and it's very nice for when you're waxing your face or tweezing your eyebrows. 
you can put on some soothing cream to help soothe all the redness that you may have from after waxing. Sometimes waxing can be very harsh depending on what wax you're using, so you really want to have a good Ozoline soothing cream. So this is something that I used back in the day for waxing, so I knew this was going to be good. So I'm kind of like a cheater bug. I already knew Ozoline was going to be super amazing, and you actually get a lot for a sample because you don't really need too much, and this will probably last you for like a long time. It'll just depend on how often you tweeze your eyebrows. There's a funny saying that we would use in SD class. You don't pluck your eyebrows, that's what they do to chickens. You tweeze your eyebrows. They even had a similar one for bleaching. You don't bleach your hair, you lighten your hair. So every time you go and use the wrong term, they'd always correct you like that. Like, I'm not even kidding. Back to the Ocelene cream. This is amazing for soothing all that redness and pain after tweezing or waxing, giving it a nice hydrating and cooling feel. I did my eyebrows last night and I just put a little bit on where I tweeze and I just left it on. I just applied my everyday moisturizers and everything and it actually like absorbed into the skin and I feel like they made my eyebrows a lot softer so this is really really good. I need to get a full size of this. This one is from Zermetic in case you're wondering forgot to mention the name but forgive me I think this is the last product see they didn't really give you that many things in this month's bag like I'm kind of shocked and shook like it said to make waves they didn't even make a splash <laughs> I don't even feel splashed upon that's how I feel this is a good Eddie Funkhauser domed blending eyeshadow brush I already used it for my eyeshadow today and it's okay, it's like basic eyeshadow brush. It's nice and fluffy, but I don't know. It doesn't really have like the texture I like for a brush. And I don't know, something about the brush is like I'm on the fence about like I like it, but then I'm like, I don't know. It's probably an expensive brush, and I'm like, it's probably not worth the price that they're trying to charge for that but yeah it's a pretty good brush it does the trick I don't know if it works too well with blending but it's great for packing on eyeshadow like glitter shadows and shimmer shadows that's what it's good at doing like I packed my glitter on top of my eyeshadow with this one I also applied I applied my whole eyeshadow with it but it was better at packing on the glitter instead of like blending not too many uses for this one I believe so this one was like a eh, so so I think that's yeah that's the end of that bag but I did get an awesome face mask and I really love their products so far that I've tried I tried their lip balm which was amazing at soothing my lips and just comforting them and making you feel like you're on a tropical paradise well guess what I used the Penale Papaya Face Mask, and this is the real deal for a face mask. Fits on your face. It doesn't move. It fits perfectly, and the product is just so luxurious when it goes on your skin. It actually absorbs and it actually hydrates your skin. Gives you a nice, beautiful porcelain feel after you're done. I love this mask. And you even have like some left over sometimes in the bottom here so we can rub excess on your neck. When I used it, I left it on for 15 minutes and then when I took off the mask, I actually like massaged the leftover on my skin and I let it kind of like air dry before I applied any other product and I think that was a good thing. This mask is the real deal. I'm not even playing. I love it. I highly recommend it. And they gave me two of them. Two. I'm obsessed with this one. It's lovely and it smells so fantastic. You feel like you're on a Hawaiian tropical paradise. Probably if you use some other products, you're just going to be swept away. This one is a soothing mask, so I'm going to have to try this one out at a later time. But I'm sure it's going to be amazing. This one is a lychee face mask. These are the standout stars of this whole 
bag this month is the mask. The mask made it worth it because this mask took my skin from dry and kind of like cracking to a hydrated porcelain wonderland of tropicalness and I am shook. The mask could be so good. Thank you Ipsy for including that into my bag so that way it's actually worth it this month and I don't have to question myself and why I'm getting the bag in the first place. And I'm actually wondering about if I should try any other subscription boxes or bags. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite subscription box slash bag is and maybe I'll check it out at a later time. I'm open to getting more subscription boxes and bags. So far Ipsy is the only one that has so far been honest. We all know what happened to the Live Beauty box. Let's just be for real and I was like, uh, well that was like a disaster. So I'm looking for legit awesome bags and boxes so let me know I'm open to new ideas and new boxes and new experiences so thank you so much for watching my June make waves ipsy bag if you enjoyed this video please let me know by leaving a huge thumbs up down below it's appreciated subscribe while you're here You'll be notified when I post a new video, which is every Wednesday and Saturday, so please be on the lookout for those uploads. As well, follow me on all my social media, so when you're up to date on the latest, newest videos and scoops on like, whatever I'm doing, so go check me out over there. You'll not be disappointed. Check out all my coupon codes and affiliate links listed down below, so you can get some amazing savings, get some great steals and deals. Christmas in July is coming, so gotta do that Christmas shopping, so hey. Why not get early with me? I also have a new affiliate link down below with FNX Fit, so check that one out. Begin your weight loss journey along with me by checking out the link down below and use the code FOLLOWGIRL30 at checkout to save 15% off your purchase. Yep. Go down there and they have a great line of fitness and sports gear to get you pumped and fit and ready. Have my Avon shop available. I'd be super appreciative if you let me be a representative today and I would love to give you a great Avon experience. They have a lot of brand new amazing products coming out and I'm so excited. I might have to do an Avon haul when all that stuff comes. So you know what? Be on the lookout as always. I'll talk to all of you next time. Bye everyone.